All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. And yes, we're back with an unboxing on this one. This is the latest in the Cream uh, reissue series. Uh, this is another box set that they've just uh, released uh, called Goodbye the Final Tour. And so it has just arrived. This is, I believe, a multiple uh, disc set. I don't believe there's any vinyl on this one, but they're calling this one. It says the final tour, but I believe it's an expanded version of their, essentially their final studio album called Goodbye. So uh, let's take a look inside. It has just arrived. Uh, let's see how we can, see if we can get in here without. It's early Eric Clapton uh, just did his uh, recent uh, tribute to uh, Ginger Baker, which uh, by all accounts looked like it was a great concert for sure. Okay, let's open up the box. Nicely packaged. Nice little wrap around it here. Nice little bubble wrap. Nice to see. Okay. So here we have the expanded version of uh, Cream Goodbye. So this is Cream Goodbye Tour Live 1968. First authorized release of these four historic 1968 concerts, uh, Oakland Coliseum, Los Angeles Forum, San Diego Sports Arena, plus Farewell Concert, Albert Hall, previously unreleased on CD. Includes 64-page book with unseen photographs and an essay by David Frick. Okay. So let's see if we can focus here. So there you have the uh, listings. Now, the original album of Cream Goodbye featured uh, three studio uh, tracks and then three live tracks. And uh, certainly at the time, it did get some criticism that it wasn't quite a fitting way for uh, Cream to say goodbye. But this, by the looks of it, uh, is all uh, live stuff. At least that's the impression I'm getting. So I'm not seeing like the studio version of Badge or anything like that. They're sort of expanding this as, as the tour. So I'm not quite... The original album but it seems like it's all live stuff so okay let's uh, take a look inside yeah as i mentioned uh certainly looks like good reviews for the uh ginger baker tribute concert uh, boy i saw some of the clips on youtube steve winwood uh just in fine form and uh Certainly Ron Wood from the Stones, uh, doing great as well. Uh, Nile Rogers was there, so it looked, uh, looked, it looked really, really good. Okay, we'll save that hype sticker. Okay, so this, yeah, is the latest in the Cream reissue. Um, interesting, uh, made in the Czech Republic. That's still uh, stuck on here. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, take maybe a better look, see if we got less glare there for you. So complete uh, track listings of all the live performances, including Albert Hall, which is unbelievable that the Albert Hall, Royal Albert Hall show from 1968 has never really been released on CD or at least uh, in its entirety sort of thing. Okay, so let's uh, take a look inside. Nice hard uh, case and looks like a nice kind of slip case like that. Okay, we'll just put that on there. And it does have that sort of new smell, <laughs> if you will. Okay, so let's take a look at the discs. And it doesn't look like, yeah, I don't think there's any like DVDs or anything like that. It looks like it's all CDs. And quite simply, pretty straightforward like that. We have that. And then <laughs> very simple. So there you have the disc cells like that. Okay, so there's the CDs. We'll put that over there. And now we'll take a look at the book. Goodbye Tour, live 1968 train. Okay, let's uh, take a look. Okay. Re wow, uh, really nice glossy paper. Really nice quality, my goodness. Okay, always did enjoy that picture of, of them. I guess if you're gonna say goodbye, say it big. Of course, great shots there of Royal Albert Hall. And yeah, it's just Eric left from the band. My goodness. Jack Bruce there. And very nice. They've had a nice reissue series lately. I'll show you the uh, the one that's uh, been f the first album, uh, Fresh Cream. Uh, they did a nice job with a reissue on that. And I'll show you that briefly. I, have, have, I do have that one in detail in a previous video, so you can check that out. Really nice, uh, some really nice photos here. And just an unbelievable band overall. I've never seen that before. <laughs> 
So yeah, this looks like it just focuses on the uh, the live stuff, the last of the live stuff from Cream, certainly at, the, at least at the time, until many, many, many years later. Okay. But yeah, nice quality paper. Nice photos overall. Some newspaper clippings. Okay. Nice replicas of some of the... Uh, Singles there. And so after this booklet, I'll show you what I have in terms of cream on CD. I don't have very much on vinyl. I've really got to get more cream on vinyl. We've got just a few things uh, to show you. And even the C my CD collection's okay, but maybe it's it's not not great. I don't have a cream goodbye on either uh, CD or, or vinyl, so I'm going to have to rectify that. That is a great cover. <laughs> okay, I think that's just about it. Okay, very nice book overall. Okay, very nice in terms of the reissue series. I'm going to be enjoying some great concerts there. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have in terms of my uh, cream selection. Again, it's not a lot. Um, let's start off with a simple uh, copy of uh, Fresh Cream on uh, compact disc. Such a great album. Uh, this was part of the uh, reissue series. It's interesting, the reissue series has been kind of sporadic, to, to say the least, because now we have Goodbye Cream focusing on the uh, the Goodbye Tour, or the, the final tour, if you will. And then the issue before that was quite simply the first album, uh, in terms of a, a big sort of box set reissue. This one's really nice, uh, both uh, stereo and mono versions of Fresh Cream. Lots of BBC sessions as well. I do have this uh, in detail in a previous video. But if you want to check it out, and this one's got a really nice booklet with some great vintage photos of the band. So there is that. Okay. And then moving right along, of course, uh, Disraeli Gears, a simple CD copy uh, of that. And then I did pick up the, which is quite nice, a deluxe edition. Um, I don't know why they haven't released this one in a, a sort of a nice box set, if you will. Uh, this deluxe edition, again, both the mono and stereo versions, outtakes, the demos, and some BBC recordings as well. Very nice overall. Yeah, and if you ever come across these deluxe editions, these are just great. Be it the, the slipcase slip or whatever, but they really, they fill up the discs. Great uh, liner notes and uh, really well worth it. They do cost a little more sometimes, but uh, well worth it. Of course, uh, Cream, uh, Wheels of Fire. Uh, this is a simple early uh, CD issue and sort of the uh, traditional fat box, uh, but with very little, you know, the standard Polydor label, and then that's it. <laughs> like, that's it for the, for, the, for the sleeve, if you will. But, hey, great album overall. Almost had a chance to, to buy this in the wild. Uh, a fellow, we were at a record shop sort of thing, and the one guy just had grabbed it just before I saw it. Just one of those things. Uh, this is very cool. You don't see this one too much. This is Cream uh, BBC Sessions. Uh, this came out in the mid-90s. Uh, just a single disc, but it was at the time the first official collection of the BBC Sessions. Of course, now they've been uh, reissued on the various box sets, as you've seen. And, of course, so we have uh, Cream, the Royal Albert Hall, the big, big reunion concert uh, that overall was great. And so this is the double disc uh, set. Uh, this is also put out on vinyl. I think Mazzy's shown this one on vinyl a few times. But, you know, really, really great. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, a great uh, CD box set in terms of bang for your buck. I have shown this before. This is a, a it's an overall compilation called Those Were the Days, but they include like all of the studio stuff and plenty of live stuff, just all packed onto four CDs. A really nice uh, booklet inside. I do believe I have shown this before, but uh, well worth checking out if you can come across it. As I say, really good bang for your buck and a really solid four CD set. Cannot go wrong with this one. And this one came out, this was a fairly early issue. This came out, I believe, uh, yeah, in the 90s. And then on vinyl, uh, this is all I have. Uh, creamed Israeli Gears. Uh, this is an early 70s uh, issue with, you know, the RC, RCO thing here. And then, unfortunately, they've got the, the you know, the track listings here covering up the picture. But, uh, hey, you know, what can you say? It's a fantastic album. But uh, this one on... Our RSO, and then I've got what I always thought was just a unusual cover 
uh, Best of Cream. And uh, again, this is an RSO uh, Best of Cream issue. But can't go wrong with the songs. And then it's not, of course, on the RSO. Oops, on the RSO label. Okay, so that is my current crop of cream. <laughs> and so I'm going to be certainly enjoying uh, Cream Goodbye Tour Live 1969. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll chat again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.